Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be playing Hellpoint. This was developed by Cradle Games and published by Tiny Build Games and released on the 30th for a price of 29.24. So what I'm going to do is jump in and see if it's any good. So I've been playing for about 30 minutes to an hour now, just so I get the hang of the mechanics and the story. Um, combats got a mixture of RB for fast attacks and RT for your strength attacks so you can dispatch these uh, basic monsters pretty easily when you kill them you can collect axions which are used to strengthen your character one thing I found is if you do die, you do keep them and you can go back and get them again. Other than that, there is a lot that is left unexplained. But that's what adds to the story, so. Graphic wise, definitely not the prettiest game I've ever played, but you know, it is set on a spaceship, so you can imagine it ought to be the same sort of tone. But what I'm going to do is now I've got a decent amount of actions, I'll quickly run up and upgrade my character slightly. So, what you do is you upgrade using these like rifts. So you can consume the axions that you collect, which adds them to your total. You get them for defeating monsters out on the ground, so you can increase your things such as your health, your stamina, your strength, how much you can carry. Obviously if you do die, when you come back to these, the more you infuse, the more you get. Another great feature about the game as well is it's drop in, drop out co op. So, you know, if you are struggling, you can uh, press select, you can go online, you can invite players in, you can enter other people's games. You can also do little taunts like that. So, inventory that is things to add to your headgear. Or, you know, you've got arms, torso, normal RPG sort of inventory system. It's quite quick and quite well utilised. Another thing I do like about this game is it doesn't hold your hand, so literally you get created and you jump straight in. Although they're the weaker enemies, just make sure you don't get flanked. I find that they do drop down or they can um, appear from nowhere, seemingly. make sure you always check your surroundings as well because there's a lot of uh, precious uh, actions to uh, gain combat is quite satisfying especially when you sneak up on an enemy and uh, bash their brains in. It's also bits that call for stealth and more tactical gameplay. Uh, if I was to jump down there I'd get massacred pretty quickly.
No idea where he was, but he totally deserved to die. The enemies do seem to respawn though. Like, which Some of them have uh, guns as well, so. Always be sure to uh, watch what your enemies have got on them. Some of them have sort of heavy pipes, some of them just use their melee weapons. There are bigger overseers that have uh, like tridents that can do massive damage. But the AI, particularly on these guys, is the greatest, so you can just run in and uh, make short work of them. want to do is get across to the embassy which is just across the hallway there Sometimes it's a bit of a blessing and a curse with these enemies because where they're not very responsive, the uh, zombies, they're quite hard to uh, split up. badly so far. I picked them off because last before I did a uh, I was doing my test literally I pressed that elevator button and literally every single one in the area just swarmed me <laughs> tell the story through the computers and where the enemies are so you started off in the pond that's where you were kind of created and now we're heading towards the observatory to find the architect the handprint servers like the tutorial icons If you die, that's where I died when I did my test run. You can collect your actions when you die.
bruh. Woefully, uh, equipped to deal with that one. Oh dear. It does take a little while to load though, being the only downside, but when you do die, although you, you recover the uh, actions that were collected from killing enemies, you still keep the ones that you consume, so it gives a little bit of a boost. in that aspect but obviously what you do you know dust yourself off build your character back up a bit more and then the stronger you get the easier everything will gradually get so So once you uh, know everyone is, it'd be quite easy to uh, breeze back through where you were. The other thing I also recommend you doing is uh, turn the gamma up. First start is very, very dark, so I think I've put this on about 1.4. Overall, though, I reckon this would be really fun with two people. You know, the graphics aren't the greatest, but you know, the combat's solid. You know, the enemies are varied, there's tons of customization options. Wouldn't quite pay $29.34 for it. Price seems a bit steep for what it is. I'd probably wait for this one to be in a sale. Anyway, I hope you like this review. Please like and subscribe for future videos.